A biosimilar is really a copy of a commercially available biopharmaceutical or what we call the reference product. So this, this is again different because you, you have to match this protein or, and um, so as I said, proteins are very, very complex. They have they have a complex sequence, and then that se they have things that allow them to fold in different different ways. So the key to making a biosimilar medication to originator product is to get the sequence right and to get the way it folds and the structure as close as possible, because you know that the biologics worked because those have gone through clinical trials, and so. In the biosimilar world, a lot of the development of a biosimilar comes in a very, what we call analytical or the chemistry, how do you make the drug and make sure that that biosimilar does in the lab have all the characteristics of the originator product. It's called a biosimilar because you can't get a bioexact. It's not a generic where there's a chemical structure that you can follow in recipe and you can create that exactly the same. So there are subtle differences. And one of the things in the early, you know, in the early understanding of this is whether those subtle differences may impact the way patients uh, react uh, to uh, the biosimilar. And, and